Hello everyone and welcome to another Genshin Impact tier list. So I got a, like one or two comments on the last one. So I'm just going to have to preface this before the video for those people who aren't as intelligent. Um, tier lists are completely subjective. There is com no completely right answer when it comes to these things. Um, you know, everyone has their own experience of the game. And even those people who are the most tuned into the meta, you know, they will always have their own opinions of who is good and who is not. You know, there's no set in stone tier list within the game. It's just like, it's completely subjective, you know. Some pers some people might think Ayaka is S tier, some might think she's A tier, you know. That's completely subjective. Some people might think Noelle is useless. Some people might think, oh, she got a buff with Rina, she's pretty good. Some people say Xiao is pretty eh. But then there are also the people who are thinking about Xiao from freaking when he was released, not the fact that he has Farina, Faruzan, and Cloud Retainer to buff the crap out of him now, and now he's actually probably somewhere around here and is pretty good. Anyways, just wanted to get out of the way. So this video hopefully is going to be a little less controversial since everyone has their own experience of building characters and for some it's easier than others because of RNG. <laughs> Gotta love artifact RNG, am I right? Or am I right? So anyways, I'm going to be ranking characters on how... Oh, I shouldn't have put don't have, I should put haven't built. Slash... I don't know why I got rid of don't have, I'm just going to put slash don't have why does it do it like that jeez that is weird don't have have okay yeah we're basically just gonna rank characters on how easy the, they are to build um some of them i will rank anyways even if i don't have them because i understand like how easy they are to build like kazua i know is pretty easy to build so i'm gonna put him at s um, I'm going to put, yeah, here, I'll, I'll put three characters at S and I'll explain why. Uh, where is she? Here she is. So, and we can actually put Nilu here too. For all, all of them for the same reason. Nilu's a little different though. So, for Kazuha, Sucrose, and Shinobu, they're all easy to build for the same reason. Just, you're just trying to get them to a thousand EM. Easy peasy. Um, with Kazuha, you know, weapon-wise, you can just use the freaking Iron Sting craftable weapon, and then just stack five, or I guess three EM pieces, and then, you know, uh, four, two of which are viridescent, and then, you know, a feather and a flower that are viridescent, and boom, you're done. It's the exact same thing with Sucrose, except instead of uh, Iron Sting, you'd use the most likely would use either like Favonius Codex or probably Sacrificial Fragments uh, for, for that, that boost of EM. Shinobu, Iron Sting, and then uh, she's a little harder since her best set is uh, Flower of Lost Paradise. But it's not like you're, you know, it's not like it's actually harder to get those pieces. It's just, you know, you're farming, well, I'm sure they, you know, it could be used for other things. Because what's the other artifact in that domain? I don't remember, actually. Uh, oh, it's Desert Pavilion. I almost forgot that was a set. I've never, I, I don't have any pieces for it, so I don't have Wander. So, yeah. Um, but they're all equally easy to do. Um, and then Nilu, you can give her Iron Sting. I have an Iron Sting on mine, um, or her signature weapon if <laughs> you got lucky. But usually Iron Sting is what most free play players will play on her. And then just literally stack her with two piece Vorakasha, two piece Tenacity, and just HP percent, flat HP, and eat, and then some, like a little EM on the side. Yeah, it's they're all really easy to build. Okay, so. Phone? Frick off. <laughs> so now, we... Okay, I haven't built Ningguang, I haven't built Pedo. Um, 
or D Luke. Phone. Shut up. I already looked at those notifications. I'm Bill Kaya, or Razor, or Amber, or Lisa. I'm not really built Traveler. Uh, or Chi Chi. Although, yeah, I can't. I can't look at that because I don't know how she's built. I haven't built Venti, or Chang Yun, or Chi Child, uh, or Shin Yan. Or Hu Tao, or Rosaria, or Yanfei, or Eula. Oh boy, okay, so let, let me just get these out of the way. I've built Sara, or Kokomi, or Toma, or Ito, or Gora, or Shenha, or Yai, or Ayato, or Galon, or Tainari, or Hazo. <laughs> uh, actually, no, wait, I did start building Tainari, so I can comment on him. Uh, Dory. Uh, who else? I haven't built Candice, or Kale, or Alhatham, or Albedo. I missed him. Whoopsies. Uh, obviously I haven't built any of these guys, because they're not out yet. Chiari. Uh, Gaming. Cloud Retain. Ooh, wait, no, I can leave her in, I think. I think I know how she's built. But, um... I haven't built Navia. I haven't built Charlotte yet, but I know how she's built because I've done research. Built you. Haven't built you. Haven't built you because I don't have you. Um, or you. I don't have you. I don't have Sino. Uh, I know how you're built, so I can keep you in here. I think we're good. I think everyone else I could comment on. Oh wait, Cloud Retainer, yeah, I'll throw her out here. Actually, I'll, I'll bring in Shenha and Cloud Retainer, because I'm pretty sure they're just all the way attack percent, right? You're just stacking attack percent? So I would put them at uh, S tier, because you're just stacking attack percent for the most part, and some like ER, and that's about it. So, yeah. I, I'd say that's pretty straightforward. All right, let's start off with Jean. Jean's honestly, I'd say she's A. She's not that easy, but she's also pretty easy. So for Jean, what you want to do, it depends on the weapon you run. But um, for Jean, if you're running Favonia Sword on her, you're going to want to crit rate circle it. And then like an attack percent, uh, or yeah, an attack percent sands and an attack percent or animo damage goblet for if you're running another weapon on her you're going to want to run an er sands a attack percent goblet and uh kind of up to you i run an attack percent circlet on mine uh you could also run in a crit rate one it really depends i run her with uh the flute that way i'm getting some use out of that weapon <laughs> And it actually works pretty synchronized pretty well since it's you know it's an attack percent weapon so increasing her healing um yeah she's not bad she's, uh i run her with noblesse since yeah i mean i feel like various venom is not very useful when uh you're using her with um chow <laughs> who is a you know vv is not gonna work because it's not swirling anything, you know? Oh, well, it might be like swirling Hydro, but we're, I don't want high, you know, I don't care about the Hydro damage, I care about his personal damage. So, Noblesse helps him. So, I run Noblesse with mine, you can run Viridus and Venera depending on which, like, team you're slotting her into. But, uh, yeah, there's that. Barbara. I would say... I, I think it's safe to say she's S. I don't think that, you know, you just gotta throw HP and ER on her, her weapon. I mean, you could just throw freaking the three-star weapon, uh, Thrilling Tale of Dragon Slayers on her. That's what I have. It gives her an HP buff and it gives the next character an attack buff. So, I'd say she's really easy to build. You can just use Maiden's Beloved, which you're gonna get that from farming VV for these guys. Or her? Uh. So, yeah, no, I say she's really easy to build. 
Same with Diona. It's literally the same thing. H just HP, ER, Maiden's Beloved. Um, yeah. Fischl, I would say B. She's not, like, crazy hard to build, but she's not, like, super easy. Sorry, she's not, like, easy easy. Um, I'd say the probably, you know, like, the problem of any sub DPS slash DPS is the goblet, you know, is gonna be difficult. Or even the other artifacts, depending on how unlucky you're getting. Like, for example, my Arlecchino, I cannot get a single... I don't know what I don't remember what the new set is called, but the, the the black and blue one that's like you know, bond of life. I, I can't. I haven't gotten a single artifact for her yet. It, my luck has been that bad. <laughs> I don't know how. I genuinely don't know how. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's not too hard, especially since her best in slot is golden troop. And you're gonna be getting a crap ton of that if you're farming for Ridesley or Linny or oh actually I could put Linny in here. I don't have or wait is he already in here? Oh, I left him in here by accident. Why did I leave like Kave and Kirara right here? I haven't built him. <laughs> that was a whoopsie doopsie. Um, but yeah, I mean you're gonna be getting a bunch of golden troop anyway from farming Marashose, so you know pretty resin efficient. And I, at least me personally, I've been getting really lucky with Golden Troop artifacts. So, yeah. Mona! I would put her in A. She's not too hard. I mean, really, you just want to run Favonius Codex on her, and I'm sure everyone has like a million copies of that weapon. I have an R5 copy that's level 90, and I have just a regular R1 copy that's like level 20. That'll probably build up for some future character. But yeah, you're gonna want to run that. I'd say that's probably your best free-to-play weapon. Um, I don't know what uh, any better weapons for her. I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> but that's what I run on her. And then um, you're just gonna want to really what? What? Do... <sighs> My Mona's not like properly built. In fact, I think I took a lot of artifacts off of her because they had crappy substats. But I think, I'm trying to remember what you usually run. It, it's not too hard to build her. I think you're just going to want to stack, like, what? Like, you basically just want to get her a lot of ER, which is pretty easy with Phoenix Codex plus her Ascension. Gives her ER. And then you're just going to want to run, like, you know, uh, what, probably like a tag percent Hydro damage bonus. Rit rate. <laughs> You know, not worrying too much about the substats. You know, she's pretty easy to build. I mean, she's just a buffer, more or less, so. Bennett! I'd put Bennett here. Um, the only reason I wouldn't put him any higher than that is because um, some people build him a little bit differently, especially if you're wanting a healing bonus um, circlet, you know? I, I see a healing bonus circlet maybe once every five months, so <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, he he's pretty easy to. I mean, I run ER HP HP. He uses no bless, just like Mona. Um, I didn't did I specify that she uses no bless? Okay, whatever. Either way, you know, no bless is pretty easy to farm for. The only reason. Although sometimes annoying is because Bloodstained Chivalry is in there, and that's the most used set in the world, other than like Thunder Soother. But, uh. Y yeah, no, he's pretty easy. I mean, especially with like just getting HP percent goblet and circlet. If you're doing that. If you get a healing bonus, it's a little bit harder. And then the ER Sands might be a little hard to find, but I, I just used uh, Golden Troop ER Sands that I had. And yeah, you're just really stacking HP and ER on him. Um, some people opt to use, like, go more offensive and give them, like, a crit rate circlet and a pyro damage goblet, but, you know, it, it, overall I'd say he's pretty, pretty straightforward on build. ka -ching. I would put B, cause, yeah, I mean, 
she uh, ascends with crit damage, and you're probably be gon gonna be running crit raid on her with crit damage substats most likely. So I'd say she's pretty easy to build, more or less. Um, her boss is like, yeah. I mean, her boss is the also like one you're gonna be farming for for like official anyways. So, although I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't like look at bosses too too much. I should probably just look at like their weapon and their artifacts. So, but yeah, I mean, weapon wise. I have Black Sword on her, which is a battle pass weapon. But if you don't want to run Black Sword on her, there's other options like Iron Sting. I think would be a good one. I'm not sure. I I don't know how EM works quite as much when it comes to um aggravate teams because I don't use those. Uh, if you're running Hyper Bloom team with her, then yeah, uh, Iron Sting would be great. But yeah, I'm not too much to say. Chow? Ooh. I'd say D, right? I would say D just because of Vermilion. It's. So if you don't know, there's one domain in the chasm. Not like deep in the chasm, I mean on the surface level side of it. And it has Vermilion Hereafter, which is a set that only Xiao uses and no one else, and Echoes of an Offering. Which really only Ayato uses, but you could also use it with like Arlequino or Yoimiya. But I'd say really it's only used with Ayato, more or less. Um, but yeah, getting artifacts for him is a pain in the butt. I have a few artifacts. I I have full Vermilion right now, and um, but I they're like okay pieces with like some crit damage and crit rate. But I definitely want to get better pieces for him eventually, just not really worrying about that right now. Um, so, yeah. And plus, weapon-wise, he can be kind of hard to get a weapon for if you don't have Primordial Jade Wing Spear, or you don't have the Battle Pass weapon Deathmatch. Yeah, I would struggle getting a weapon for him too. Because <laughs> there's not that many good free-to-play spears that aren't, like, support-based. Um, anyway, oh yeah, and his ER requirement can be annoyingly difficult. So, yeah, I would say he's on the lower side of things. Shengling. I would say she's pretty easy, no? I would put her in C. I mean, like, sure, yeah, sh just like any other character, you know, you're gonna need a, f like, d sub DPS character, you're gonna need good crit rate sub stats. But her best in slot weapon is, like, free well with effort but like you don't have to gamble for it it's the the catch that's a inazuma 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 fishable weapon <laughs> and um yeah i mean and and she also has some options i mean you can run her with like her sands you could either go er or you could go uh, attack percent. I think I use ER just because, yeah, it just makes her a little easier to play. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think she's that hard. I and mean, you're not like trying to get like 200 crit damage, so it's not that big of a deal. So I would say, yeah, she's she's C or B. I mean, she's not that hard. Ching Cho, I would say, is about the same thing. Um. The only reason I would say he might be a little more difficult, but honestly, it's just the same thing for Shengling. It's just a high ER requirement. Shengling is just a little easier. Uh, Xing Cho, it can be easy. If you get Sacrificial Sword, uh, if you have it, that's great for him. It fixes him so much. If you don't, he's a lot harder to deal with. Like, a lot, lot harder. So, get, get yourself an R5 Sacrificial Sword. <laughs> Or at least like R2 or 3. But um Yeah, I'd say overall he's pretty simple. Uh Ayaka. I would also put her in B, just cause like Holy crap, Blizzard Strayer. Just you don't have to worry about crit rate. Put like 25% on her and then 
25-30% and then you're good to go. Like, genuinely. Um, her weapon is also a craftable Amanoma Kageuchi. Like, that, that's the best, like, free-to-play weapon for her. So. And it helps, like, with her ER issue and attack issue. So, yeah, no, I mean, I would say she's pretty easy to build overall. Not gonna lie. Um, I'll move Kuching down one, I would say. Maybe. Eh, no, actually, I think she could stay up there. Klee. Uh, probably put her here. Right? Because you're going to want a lot of crit damage on her. And um, for her to perform at least decently well. Crit rate you can get if you have, like, uh, Lost Prayer of the Sacred Winds. If not, then you're have to, going to have to run crit rate and circle it on her, more or less. So, yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then, yeah. Uh, her artifacts, her best artifact set is, um, Crimson Witch, and... While you are gonna have to farm that for a good few other characters, you're also getting Lava Walker pieces, which are basically useless. Zhongli, I would say... S. It, he's just another character, you just stack HP, HP, HP. Free to play weapon, Black Tassel. That's what I use. Uh, yeah, extremely easy character to build. Won't say much more on it. Um, Pulse's best, art best artifact set is Tenacity, and that's good for other characters. So, Ganyu. Uh, I would put C. It depends on how you build her. I'd say. It's I would say it's a little bit easier if you're running her as a DPS, but I don't know how many people are actually using her as a DPS. I use her as a sub-DPS, which I actually don't know how many people do that either. I don't see Ganyu used much. Poor girl. But, yeah, I run her as sub-DPS, so I use two-piece, um, Blizzard Share, two-piece, Noblesse, and her artifact set is a lot to be desired. I need to rebuild her one day if I ever want to use her again, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. She's not, like, the hardest thing to build, but I wouldn't say she's extremely easy to build e either. Um, I run, especially weapon-wise, it, it really depends. I'd say it's harder to get a DPS weapon for her, but pretty easy to get a sub-DPS, just run Favonius Warbow. <laughs> Noel. Um... I would say she's here just because she's a Geo character that scales off defense. And defense, you know, it's everywhere. I mean, it's the curse of Genshin Impact is defense. And so, I would say because of that, you know, she's a little bit easier to build. Uh, the only thing I would say is a little bit more difficult is getting, like, good crit damage to crit rate ratio. But, I mean, you know. That's not too... It's not the worst thing ever. Uh, probably crit rate would be the hardest, but you could just use crit rate circlet and hope you get good crit rate rolls. Um, let's see. Yoimiya. Mm, boy. I would say here. Well, depends. Also, honestly, because of what I said about Shangling, I think she goes here. <laughs> but, um, Yoimiya. I would say it depends. Uh, like Rust, if you don't have it, it's kind of like, yeah. I would put her more down here just because Rust is like RNG. Like, I only have two copies of it. You know, uh, it, I don't see, mo I don't, I don't like pull it most of the time. And I, even on like, other people I see, like, they, they either don't have Rust or they have, more like, one copy of it. I don't know what's the deal with it. <laughs> but, um... And then Shimananwa pieces, I mean, like, yeah, you're farming Emblem a lot, so you're gonna get them. But at the same time, like, I... My Yoimiya, I cannot finish her build. And, like, getting a real... You need a lot of crit weight with her, so that makes it a little more difficult. Like, you need, like, 75-80 crit rate. For her to hit consistent crits, it feels like. 
Good God. So, yeah, there's that. Right in. I... This one's difficult to say. I would put her... Let's see. You could use the catch on her. If you don't want to, it's a little less e easy. But we'll just assume you're going to, for the sake of easiness. Um, I would put her here, if we're assuming you're using the catch. Because her artifact set isn't that hard. You just need like a good like crit rate, circlet, crit damage, if you get really lucky with crit rate rolls. And then it's just emblem, so... The hardest part is probably going to be getting a good ER sands and goblet, uh, electro damage goblet, but yeah, I mean, overall, I'd say she's pretty easy to build. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say she's very hard at all to build. Tainari, pretty standard DPS build. Um, depending on the weapon you're running, it might be harder to get crit rate on him, so I'll put it here, but... Yeah, he's not too, too hard to build. Um, especially if you're... It depends on, the obviously, the artifacts that you're running too. You could one run Wanderer's Troop if you have some good artifacts of those. Um, or you could run, like... I'm personally... Uh, I only have one piece for him right now, but I'm personally running... Um, uh, what's it called? Gilded Dreams. So... You know, that that's a little easier because you can actually farm for that. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, you also have the option of attack or EM as the sands. So, you know, a little bit of flexibility, but overall I would put him here. Just because it might be a little bit harder to get that crit rate up high enough. But, Yunjin... I would say here. I wouldn't put her, even though you're just gonna run defense across the board for the most part. If you're running Favoni Slants, you might run Crit Ray, or if you're not running Favoni Slants, you might run ER Sands. I I just have defense across the board. Two piece emblem, two piece husk. You could run full husk, or you could run full emblem. <laughs> you know, but overall, she's pretty easy. Um, I, I wouldn't say she's that hard to build. You just need a lot of ER on her, which is why she bring she's brought down from here. But Nikita, uh, it depends. If you're running full EM, it's gonna she probably would be like around here or something. Because you're probably still going to want some form of substats. But if you're running like a DPS one, I'd say probably maybe here. So I'll put I'll go in the middle and put her here. Um, She's just another one of those characters where... She's one of those characters where you have to balance a lot of stats. Like you have to balance EM, crit rate, crit damage. So... It can be rough. I would say crit rate and EM are the hardest ones to balance. Um, I need to get her EM and crit rate higher, personally. So, yeah. Layla, I would say, is pretty easy. You're just going to run, like, tenacity, HP, HP across the board, probably. Um, you could also run her sub-DPS, so I'll put her down one. Just, like, if you're trying to run her, like, with other substats. But, yeah, pretty easy to build. Farzan, I wouldn't say is very hard, but I won't say she's completely easy. I'll put her here. But, really, if you're running Favonius Warbo, four-piece emblem, you're going to reach your ER requirement, easy peasy. Um, you know, especially if you're running ER Sands like I am. I mean, if you're not, like, trying to get full ER, like, what other stat are you looking for? I mean, you can run, like, and like, if you're using Fodin's Borbo, you're gonna run crit rate. You know, you're not really looking for like crit damage, you whatever. You're just gonna run probably like ER, animo damage, crit rate. 
with a bunch of ER substats. I mean, that's really what you're gonna run for the most part, you know? Maybe looking for some crit damage, but it's like, eh, who cares? Cause she's just a buffer at the end. Poor Xiao, he's just at the bottom here. <laughs> Yao Yao, really easy. You could either run Tenacity or um, Deep Wood. Uh, the other reason you'd run Tenacity is if you already have a Deep Wood character. You can still run it. Um, I run Tenacity on mine just because I felt it was more resin efficient. Because I was also trying to build Nilu at the time. And um, and my Zhongli. So it was super resin efficient. And I was going to run Deep Wood on my Inahita. So yeah, I just felt that was the best option. Really, you're just going to stack ER, HP, and some EM. And like... Really, it's super easy to do that. It's just with her, her ER requirement is super easy. I don't even run like, I just have like ER substats on her. I don't even have like an ER, I, I use an EM sans, so yeah. Dia, oh boy. <laughs> I'll put her here. She needs a lot of work for her to be good. Um, But it is possible. Usually you're gonna wanna run Emblem. Yeah, you're just gonna, it's gonna be difficult to stack enough crit rate and crit damage for her to be good. You're also gonna probably want cons, so. Yeah, Mika, I would say is really easy. You're just gonna wanna run HP and ER, probably. I don't know what else you'd run on him. I mean, you don't really need to worry about his stuff too much. Lenny, I would put here, mainly because with Mara Shose and his Ascension for crit rate, you're not going to really have to worry about crit rate, like, at all. You're going to want, like, the tiniest bit of crit rate and you're good. So it's just building crit damage, really. That makes him really easy to uh, build. In terms of a weapon, you can use the Battle Pass weapons. If not, if you're, like, free to play, um... You can use the freaking craftable weapon, Prototype Crescent. Super easy, I would say. Um, the only reason it's not higher is because, you know, you need to... Like, a little bit RNG. But, I wouldn't say it's, like, too crazy. Honestly, some people might even argue he's up here. But, I'll just put him here. Nouvellet. Um, hmm. I would say here. He has a lot of weapon options is the main reason I want to put him here, but like, yeah, getting, well, I don't know, he might be here, but some people said they did struggle getting, like, enough crit damage on him. I would personally want to put him here, but just because some people said he's, they found him hard to build, I, I won't. I think he's not too hard to build. I would put him, like, in the middle, honestly, but... Like, getting crit rate, enough crit rate on him isn't too hard. Uh, it could be for some people, depending on the weapon they're running. I run, um, Lost Pair of the Sacred Winds. But, you know, if you're running another weapon, it's probably going to be a little bit harder to get enough. Um, but Mara Shose does help out a lot with its 36% boost in crit rate. Uh, getting enough crit damage on him is pretty easy. Um really is since he ascends with it and like yeah I mean, you're gonna be looking for crit damage anyways i'd say maybe the er is can be an issue but i have er on my crit damage circlet for him so it's not an issue for me but you could run into it as an issue possibly um some weapons help with that though if you're running like ballad of the boundless blue or free to play option would be um prototype amber that's a good one on him. So, yeah. Ridesley. I'm gonna put him here. I really... Yeah, I don't know. He might... No, I'd say he's here. I, I, yeah. I think probably there would be more fair. I feel like he's a little bit harder than Nouvellet, though. That's why I say I want to put him in the middle. Maybe I should just put Nouvellet here. I don't know. Rithesley, if you don't have Widsith or something like that, it could be a little harder to get, like, a good weapon for him. His, like, great weapon options are pretty limited. Um, 
Allied is a good option, but if you miss that event, it sucks to suck. <laughs> um, yeah, getting enough crit rate without a crit rate circle is a little difficult as well. So you might have to sacrifice a crit damage goblet, and if you don't have Witsith, then you might be feeling a little low in crit damage. So there's that. Yeah. Things can line up if you have the right weapon. If you don't, it can be a little dicey. Farina. I would say she's not super easy, but also not too hard. I'd put her here. Really just going to want to run HP, HP, crit damage. And then you'll get enough crit rate with from, like, just... Hopefully you'll get enough crit rate from, like, substats and whatnot. And then, the, I'm just assuming most people, unless they're, you know, a whale, are running... Um, what's it called? The, the Flu Sandra Ferryman, I just call it the Metal Pipe. But you know what weapon I'm talking about. It's a great weapon for her. It fixes her ER requirement as well. So if you're not running that, I don't know what you're doing. Um, yeah, the only thing holding her back is getting enough crit rate and crit damage on her. Uh, for, and for some people, ER. But yeah, I'd say... Per, yeah, depends. Uh, Charlotte, I put in the same boat probably as Farina. Because... Or more so the same boat as like Layla. Because like she could be a healer and she's really easy to build. Or she could be a um, sub DPS and she's a little bit more difficult to build. But I'll put her in like right here in the middle as pretty easy. I think that's fair. Chevrus. Just run the freaking Fontaine craftable weapon. HP, HP, HP. I'd say she's really easy to build. For the most part, maybe getting her to 40,000 is a little bit difficult, but I'd say overall it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, I'll, st I'll keep her in S. And then Arlequino I would put at D, because holy crap, maybe it's just me, but getting all those pieces for her, I haven't even gotten one of the Bond of Life pieces. Alternatively, you can use Gladiator's Finale, but I don't think most people actually have Gladiator's Finale pieces. Um, because you can't farm them. So, you're just kind of stuck with two-piece, two-piece attack in most cases, and that's not the greatest. It, it definitely dwindles her DPS by quite a, quite a substantial margin. Um, yeah, and then, like, it's not even just that her artifact set is, like, you're just you know, hard to get pieces for, it feels like, but it's a very, like, the, it's a very unefficient resin one. I always get the other freaking set as well, and the other set is completely useless for, like, everyone. There's, like, no character that's gonna really want it. So, yeah, I would put them as the hardest to build. I know there's other characters that are a little more difficult to build, like Sino, um, I know is really difficult to build, and, uh, some other characters but yeah overall this is this is my ranking feel free to disagree if you want I would say this is pretty fair uh, again everything is subjective I'm not a noob I have probably have like 3,000 hours in the game at this point good lord I play it every single day I look up stuff all the time I look at other people's tier lists I look at other people's spiral abyss runs I look at this and that well, I don't look at other people's tier lists, like, a lot. I've looked at maybe, like, five in my time as a Genshin player, but... I don't know. Overall, I would say I'm pretty objective. So... Like, I don't know. Uh, let's... If you don't agree, be nice about it. Don't be like, oh, you're cringe, you have waifu bias. Like, that is the most freaking immature, brain-dead rebuttal ever. Don't say stuff like that. If you do your comments getting removed, I don't care. I'm just not dealing with that kind of toxicity. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're all here to have fun. I'm just trying to be informative, or some people find this kind of stuff entertaining. Either way, you know, I'm not trying to get on someone's bad side, and if I do, that's, that's a you problem, not a me problem. So I don't care. Anyways, if you actually are one of these people who enjoyed this, then, you know, make sure you, uh, 
leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and yeah, I don't know if I will be doing any more of these kind of videos, but if I ever come across an idea for one, I will, and that's that.